Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we are talking about something a little different. We are gonna talk about acoustic guitars. Mainly one acoustic guitar that I bought over a year ago. Um, it was uh, before all these videos that are coming out for this company. Um, I personally like them. Um, they just need a little work to do a setup. Like, I mean, little work as in a setup and just if you know what you're doing, they're perfect. They're good for beginner guitars. They hold a decent tuning. Um, we were talking today about Glary guitars. This is a Glary GT501 acoustic all satin body. Very nice looking. I bought this guitar over a year ago. Um, it sounds good, holds good tune. I what I like to do in these tuners, these uh, generic style enclosed tuners, is I take off the nut, or if they don't have a nut, take them off. But these have a nut, so I take off the nut that holds the string and I spray a little lubricant in there because sometimes they have like a little catch or slip. I spray some lubricant stuff in there and twirl them around about 20 times one way, 20 the other way, and then back 20 again, 20 the other way. And it gets that lubrication all over the gears and the tuning machines. And that helps to even amount and they don't have so much slip and don't have limited catch. So they hold stability. And a lot of times I do is I take these screws right here on the end of the tuning key. I tighten them up because they're normally pretty loose. So that kind of helps hold them in tune. Um, I've had, like I said, I've had this one for over a year. It comes with a gig bag and of course the Allen key and a pit guard, but I personally don't like the pit guard on here. I rather have just the full guitar body. Um, it sounds nice. But one of the main things we're gonna focus on today is that saddle that saddle is obnoxiously high and it's got an angle to it which has given the strings a lot of pitch which they don't really need too much pitch down here because it puts a lot of tension on these end pins here so what i'm going to do over the course of this video is i'm going to loosen the strings i don't have to take the strings all the way off and i'm going to take this nut out and we're going to file it down and get it right to where we need it to be to lower this action just a hair. You don't want it too low so you don't so you get fret buzz, but we're going to lower it and then go from there. So see here we got, I got the strings loosened um, and they are loosened enough. They're loose enough to take out the saddle and I'll give you a look on how thick this saddle is look at this thing it is obscenely thick um, they don't need to be that high because when it was sitting in the strings it had a pitch like about like that so we will i will take one of my files here and i will sand it down so all right so upon re further review into looking at where the saddle rests i found this this was underneath the saddle so i took it out so i'm going to replace the saddle um and see if it makes a difference. Um, it looks so much better. It's so much lower. 
So we will tune it up and see what happens. So right now I am tightening the strings. Not almost perfect every time. All right. Well, I think that did it. We did. We did. Uh, file it down just a hair, but. We took this out. So I'm glad to say it sounds pretty good. And if you look at it now, that action is really, really nice. So here's a little play demo.
right, so my final thoughts on this Galeri GT501 Concert Cut Spruce Top is it's not bad. Um, yeah, you can go and buy better guitar. You can always buy better stuff. But if you buy this, it's pretty inexpensive and minimal work like I just did. You can make it really... Make it really pop as a, an acoustic. And the aesthetics of it are not bad at all. That spruce top mixed with this basswood, it, it really makes this thing pop. It's got that rosewood fingerboard. The other thing that I noticed upon playing this the first time is uh, the side markers are a little off, but like I said, nothing too major. Um, I'm not a stickler about that kind of stuff. There is a little uh, glue showing here on the neck joint, but like I said, not a stickler. Um, I'm not too uptight about what I play. Um, I would really, really like to try out one of those glary electric guitars. Because they have some cool styles. They got some cool body shapes. Even just the regular um, double cut strat style. They're really nice, I think. But I'd like to give them my take on it. Um, from a guy who's not too picky. Who's been buying cheap guitars. Or inexpensive guitars. My whole playing career. I've just got lucky with some deals. Some deals are better than others. So, um, final thoughts on the Glary is I think it's, I think it's good. If you're a beginner, really good guitar. If you're a, um, intermediate player, really good guitar. Cause you can, intermediate players know what setups need, what adjustments are needed to this. Um, when I got it, the neck was super straight and still is i've had it sitting for over a year playing it on and off and like i said what can this is a good campfire guitar this is a good um i should play around your house guitar i leave this one in my living room just okay i want to screw around a little bit um it's good just to travel with so you're not really too worried about what happened to it happens to it but i've took this all over the place man um it's really nice and i really recommend it for any beginners or intermediate players if you like guitars and if you just want to try working on an acoustic there you go so that being said this is the glary gt 501 you can go to glaremusic.com to check these out. Um, they have all kinds of different guitars. They have um, different styles like that. It just all your preference, really. Um, they have a bunch of different acoustics to choose from. So... I hope everybody has a good rest of their day. And remember, stay heavy.